hello what's up people welcome back to the channel and today we are going to talk about the mbbs studies in italy and uh, so many people have been asking about some questions so i filtered them out and uh, made the generic questions that people mostly people wanted so let's start with the questions that they made and i'll keep answering each of the questions and uh, before we get into the video please like share and subscribe so that we can grow together i'll help you and you'll help me and uh, this is going to be working to and fro so the eligibility criteria for italian for the students who want to study mbbs in italy is you need to have at least 60% in your 12th class and the one more thing is you need at least uh, english proficiency english proficiency can be asked by some universities but some universities don't ask for it so for the universities which ask for english proficiency you have to be prepared with an ielts exam or a medium of instruction certificate so it's better to write a exam or you should have a minimum of instruction certificate from your previous education which is the 12th class so when you study the 12th class you have you can ask for the particular college and go to the college and ask for the minimum of instruction saying that you study you studied in english and the third uh, eligibility criteria is you have to write the imat exam so imat exam can be written in uh, online so for the imat exam you must register and choose the universities and or prioritize your universities accordingly so when you write the exam according to your score they will be allotted accordingly so if you get a university you can then apply for the um, visa and you can come here and study so that's how it works the imat exam and uh, english proficiency is must so because you must study in english and mostly the education will be in english so don't worry about it and um, the professors will speak english very well so that's how it works this is the eligibility criteria how are the exams conducted and how does the courses conduct uh, so the courses will be conducted in uh, in a six years of span in the six years you will have each year you will have two semesters and then two semesters will have exams of course the three or four depending on the particular semester you will have two three or four exams and each exam will be conducted in a oral way some will be written some will be oral it's like a viva so you have to answer the questions that the that were asked by the professor so that's how the exam mostly works and if you have any problem with the marks for example so usually the marks will be given for up to 30 so the maximum mark that you can get is 30 marks so for the 30 marks if you give the exam for once and then if you get 20 or 22 or 23 so you might not accept the mark or you don't need to accept this you, if you don't like the mark of 22 you can say you cannot uh, you don't accept this mark and you can give the exam again it's not like the supplementary or something but you can just say you don't like the mark and you can give the exam again and uh, the exam pattern is uh, is okay but you have to prepare for the exam no matter what if you want to get the better marks and what are the teaching methods and facilities so for the teaching methods you will have uh, the uh, traditional method where the professor will be coming and you will be sitting in a class and you will be having a powerpoint presentation and a lectures and you have to study your books and stuff apart from that you will have the lab theories and you have to go to the labs and you have to perform some experiments and then you have will be going to the practical experience for the hospitals and then uh, you'll have this kind of experience also italy has the modern labs and which are expensive and extensive libraries also so you can study as much as you want there are no restrictions there will be so it will be a very good um, environment for students who want to study mbbs in italy how much tuition fees do we have to pay and what are the living expenses here for so for the tuition fees if you are a student who is getting a scholarship then your fees will be around 160 euros per year and then later if you don't get a scholarship then you have to pay at least 18 to 1800 to 2000 euros per year so this is the tuition fee for every university almost every university so there will be some private universities also but private universities they we we never know how much the fees would be it will be more than we expect so it's better to study well and get the try to get the public universities so that you'll be getting a scholarship and can study well without any issue for the living expenses if you are a student who gets a scholarship then there is a possibility that you can get the hostel just like i am in so if you get the hostel you will be getting a room for 160 euros per month so it's very cheap compared to the outside uh, outside prices so 
but don't trust the hostel facilities because you cannot there is no assurance that you get the hostel because it's a it's a slow systematic process so during this process you have to wait and then anyhow you have to wait for the um, student you have to wait for a lot and then you will be checking for the outside options so outside if you are choosing for an outside option where you have to rent a house then you will be having at least 250 to 400 euros of uh, rent every month so you have to manage with this so this is the reality so um, 250 or 350 months and ex- apart from this you will be having at least 150 euros as the grocery expenses every month minimum this is a uh, general estimation if you are expensive or if if you want if you uh buy too much stuff then it might increase but this is the normal expense so 350 plus uh, 150 it will be around 500 euros per month that you have to spend on yourself for just for the accommodation and food so mostly if you want to travel somewhere or if you for the daily commute if you want to use a travel so who need a transportation they can easily access the transportation by using a student pass so for the student pass you'll be here you'll be paying around 50 euros in the first year and then later on you can extend the student pass for by paying 10 euros per year so using this this is only for the students uh it's just for the purpose of study so if you want to use it you have to use it only on monday to friday there is no usage on saturday and sunday but you can use it just in case if you if someone finds you out you are using with the student pass then you might get caught and you might pay some fines so that's a different story So let's talk about the most interesting topic that and most interesting question that you will get and the the main important thing is the scholarships how much scholarship do we get and uh, what are the perks and cons of this scholarship so the scholarship would be around 7600 euro till 8000 euros per year okay so since you study for 6 uh, years more or less So for the 6 years you will be having 7600 roughly 40 to 50 lakhs you will be getting in the in the span of 6 years. So for the first semester you will be having the half of the amount. See every say every year it will 7200 or 7600 sorry. So for the 7600 if you come here it will be divided into half and given it each semester. So you will be getting it in first semester the half of the 3600 which is uh, 3800 you'll be getting in the first first semester and then the, the the rest of the amount on the second semester in the same way every semester you'll be having all the 37800 amount so this amount how do we get it for the first semester only in the first year first semester you'll be getting the scholarship for free no matter what you do you will be getting it based on your family income that you submit that the certificate you submit for the scholarship office and then later for the next semesters you have to clear your exams so according to the exams that you clear you will be getting a scholarship so there is a criteria for every semester that you have to complete so for the scholarship office you have a eligibility criteria for every semester so according to the criteria if you clear the exams you will be getting a scholarship with no problems mostly people study here with the scholarships by not working in any part time or anything so you have more time to study more time to spend your time with your friends or whatever you can have your peaceful time but all you have to do is study when you have the time and clear the exams as soon as possible that's all you have to do as a master student or a mbbs student so one more one more question that i got is why do you have to study in uh, italy for uh, medicine if you have the possibility to study in india So as you know Indian education is hard and uh, if you prepare well of course you can get it but I'm not a medicine student I'm just saying you can study in Italy because you can have the opportunity to study here just in case if you don't want to waste your time on neat or something so I'm just saying this as a friendly way to help you students out if you have any problems so The first thing we have observed here is there is a wide diversity of people who have been studying here because since the of the free education that they are providing Italy is providing mostly there are people from all over the world any in the medicine student there is a huge diversity of students for example in master student if i'm i'm a master student here so in the master student there will be a very very less uh, diverse people because the people who are interested 
are a bit less in the particular course but medicine there is no uh, it is the common for every it is a common course for everyone for mbbs so you can study well by choosing the mbbs course in in italy so you can actually do it well and when you want to come back to india and work here work in india you have to just clear one more exam it might be hard but still you can using your knowledge you can actually clear the exam and you'll be perfectly fine with the exam so and you'll be perfectly fine with being a doctor in india also and then you can specialize your courses accordingly and uh, that's how it works and one more thing is you'll have see for example if you are in the first semester if you are studying a particular semester in the semester you'll have a six months of span in the six months of span in the three months you'll be having lectures and then in the three next three months you'll be having the time to prepare for your exams and give the exams so if you clear the exams very uh, soon you have two months or at least one month of time to travel explore around italy or um, uh, you'll have the if you study here you'll have the schengen visa schengen visa has the right to travel around the world for mostly uh, most of the countries you can use the schengen visa you can go to anywhere in europe and it's very easy to get into any other countries for example if you are in india and uh, for indians it is very hard to get it's not hard but it takes some time to get a turkish visa or any kind of visa recently in the in this in this year in the january i've been to turkey so the instant the turkey process the turkish visa process was very fast like i just paid the money and then like in two months in um, just like in two minutes i got my e visa sent to my mail so schengen visa has the power to travel anywhere in the world so it's a very good opportunity for people who also love to travel and to study so you can have a, you can have a very peaceful time here and one more thing is study life balance is perfect nobody forces you to st- work on saturday or on sunday and uh, and even professors don't stress you out if you study or don't study they don't care but they will help you out so it's all about on your on your uh, capability and your um, urge to complete the mbbs and be a doctor so what kind of support uh, services are available for international students so coming to the support services for example so if you are if you have any doubt with the particular professor uh there is a topic that the professor is teaching and you don't have any knowledge about the particular topic and you want to ask some doubts with the professor then you will be uh pro- you will be you can ask a po- appointment with the professor and you can meet the professor and then uh, you can have you can clear all your doubts so if in case the professor is not available so most of the professors are doctorates and really well educated so <clears throat> under the professor a particular phd student will be working with him so he must already have the knowledge of what he was th- teaching so you can approach to the phd student and uh, talk with the particular doubts that you already have this is one of the service and uh, the libraries are really huge here you can study in the libraries there are laboratories that you want to if you want to if you want to study in the laboratories or if you have want to do some experiments you can uh, you can easily go to the labs and do your experiments and uh, are there any student organizations or communities that help entrance students integrate there are not exactly any student organizations that uh, students get any help from but there is a indian community or uh, every nationality has a community so you can you'll after you come here you'll slowly get into this uh, whatsapp groups or any kind of things and uh, you'll be getting a, some help, some kind of help when you come here there are lots of nations so when you find a particular nation people you will definitely have you'll be in, you'll definitely get some help so don't worry about the issues so if you have any problems with the university you can talk with the international helping desk and then uh, they are ready to help with any kind of issue they have so the last uh, question would be about visas so how do you get a visa so the last question is about visa and what are the requirements that we need and what is the eligibility criteria for the visa so when you write the exam after you write the exam you will be getting a particular university and then you will be getting the um, admission letter or some kind of things uh, there will be some kind of pre enrollment letter using this documents you can apply for the visa so for the visa there is a particular criteria that you have to follow for example 
for the international students from india i know the there is a particular criteria for everything you have to search on the internet and uh, you can uh, check with the criteria so there are some criteria that i remember so i can share it with you so for example uh, you need a one month uh, house stay so you can book a hotel here and then show the uh, receipts on the uh, during the visa process and you need a flight ticket that you have to book so you have to book a fake flight ticket or you can actually book a ticket and then show it in the uh, visa office and the last thing is you need money money is around c i've told you already in the previous video but i'm just repeating it again so the final requirement would be money so for the money you have to show your money for that you are sustainable that you can sustain yourself for 6 years of study because for the mass, for the mbbs you need to study 6 years in italy so for the 6 years you have to show your money for example so according to the italian government every student who st- who lives and studies in italy needs at least 6500 euros per year to sustain with no problems for uh, no matter your uh, education or your house fee or anything with 6500 you can easily live for, uh, live happily here so accordingly since you are studying here for 6 years you have to show your money for 6 years so 6500 into 6 years which could be around 42 or 45 lakhs so this is the amount that you have to show during your visa so how to show this money is you can show your money liquid cash on your uh, bank account maybe your sponsor's account or you can take a loan or you can show some property that you can that is worth 42 lakhs from a ca if you have still more doubts just uh, please write a dm or write in the comments uh, comment section that's all with the visa requirements and there are a practical criteria that you have to follow accordingly you will get the visas so don't worry with it but don't uh, disappoint with your visa because mostly the medicine students will get will be getting the visas because when they allot for a, allot a seat for the student you will be having the seat for reserved for you so you can apply for the visa and the university will ask the visa office to give a visa for you if you are if you are allotted in the particular seat so don't worry about the visa mostly the master student will be having the facing the problem but mbbs definitely you can get a visa so you can apply for it and one more thing is about career opportunities i have to still research about the career op- opportunities so i'll post one more video about the career opportunities and there's one more question about what are your tips that uh, you give to the students who want to come to italy for study so some of the friendly tips that i want to give you to study here are choosing your university choosing your university is a very huge topic that you have to focus on see when you apply for a university it could be good or bad or it doesn't have any kind of ratings or rankings but you can get a seat in it but the degree that you get might not matter in the real world so uh, you have to be very keen when you register for the imat exam and prioritize your university so you have to research very well for the university and then apply for it and that's one of the thing and uh, look for cities which are safer and uh, find some friends very uh, after you come here and which uh, you can trust on and always keep a contact with someone who you know so that it's very good for your uh, mental well being and your physical well being so that's how it works and one more tip is you have to be very careful with your academic records so be prepared with what you studied already and whether could be some kind of the teaching system would be changing here from italy to here so you have to change it slowly so be prepared with what you studied and what you have to study and keep a keep a track of it the cut off changes for every year how to check your cut off uh, cut off scores and uh, uh, access your strength by taking mock exams and fair interviews also practice tests also so this will help you much better after you come here instead of wasting one year to sit down and settle down and uh, start your study in the f- second year but you'll have the first year exams which are which are backlogs so and then you lose a scholarship and then this is a cyclic process if you miss one scholarship it's a cycle you will not get the scholarship for the next one it's a hard process about you have to practice your english so your main communication here is english if you are going to a market or somewhere it doesn't matter you, you need to it you need to speak italian but for the academics you need to be good at english see it's not like how we speak in uh, how we speak in india or somewhere but you have to be very good in english 
అట్లీస్ట్ బై బై యూ హ్యావ్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ వెల్ సో దట్ యూ కెన్ ప్రెసెంట్ లేటర్ యూ కెన్ ప్రాక్టీస్ యువర్ ఇంగ్లీష్ బట్ యూ నీడ్ టు హ్యావ్ ద గుడ్ లిజనింగ్ స్కిల్స్ ఆల్సో బికాస్ ఇటాలియన్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ నేటివ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ స్పీకర్స్ సో దే లర్న్ ఫ్రమ్ అదర్స్ ద ద ఇంగ్లీష్ దట్ ది స్పీక్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ ఫ్రమ్ వాట్ వీ స్పీక్ ఇన్ జనరలీ so their accent is different their uh, pronunciation is different everything is different so to understand this language you need some capabilities or practice so for this you have to be very careful and you have to practice it you have to be very careful with what you speak and uh, how you present during the exams so you have to practice english very well and the last thing is prepare yourself emotionally and mentally so you have to stay here for six long years so uh, this is going to be very hard when you want to study mbbs uh don't worry with the visa or if you want to go to india you are free to go any time uh, any time possible you get and uh, if you want to stay updated and if you want to stay updated with the information related to imat exams and stuff and if you want to prepare for the imat exam i have one of my friend who is going to help you with the exam so to stay in contact with her or with me i'm creating a whatsapp group and uh, in the whatsapp group you can join and ask her doubts or ask me some doubts so that's all for the video guys links are in the description thank you for watching please uh, if you like the video please like share and subscribe and uh, ciao peace and jai hind